What's up YouTube? Did a little more work on the wind turbine. It's been a little cold up here. And the last video I was wearing no gloves. And I ain't doing that anymore. Well, last night was minus five. This morning, right now it's about 15. And it's a little, bree a little breezy, not as bad as it was the other day. The wind chills were down probably minus 20. Well anyway, I got the guide wires on. And I did a little bit more work inside. Let's, let's take a look. Well, there's the guide wires. I hope you guys can pick that up on the camera. I went to Harbor Freight. They had some four millimeter steel cable, aircraft cable. I picked it up. I actually got a good deal. I don't know. It was pretty cheap. It was like 10 bucks for a 100 foot roll. So. 100 foot roll did it. I had a little extra. I got one, two going down that way, one there, one there, and one's going back to my. Uh, that's where I hang the deer up when I skin them out, but that thing's pretty solid. Well, it's on there, so it's pretty stiff, and it was blowing day before yesterday. The wind was really whipping, and I didn't see any wobbling going on, so I think it's, it's she's pretty solid. I made some brackets up there. Let's see if I can zoom it in. I made some brackets out of some conduit uh, pieces of uh, conduit straps. I made some brackets like that, little hooks on them and stuff. So most of the stuff I made myself. So all the other things I've been doing is I've been working inside on the uh, control board if you want to call it that where I got everything coming in and tied in so let's go take a look at it I'm waiting for another part coming to mail a rectifier because the one I had I busted the post on it I had to order another one so that should be coming in a couple days and then I can finish off what I'm doing Whew, man is it cold out Right, it's cold in here too, I didn't put the heat on, but this is what I've been messing, sorry about my hand, this is what I've been messing with so far, I can back this out, I'm close, oh, wrong way, okay, well anyway, you've been messing with this, I got a little dump load, this is going to be my, where my wind turbine, once it comes off the rectifier, it's supposed to be right here, here's the rectifier, See, I broke one off right there. I busted it off, so I had to order another one. I got them from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. So that goes right on here. Then it comes three phase, comes in, goes into rectify, comes out 12 volt, and then it's going to go into this breaker. And then, you know, I don't go over all the wiring on it, but I put breakers on everything. Brake is on the dump load. I got a brake going up to the charging trail. I got a brake on my solar panel. I got a 100 amp solar panel up on the roof here. And we had a little bit of light today. That battery was at 12.4 or 12.5, something like that. And it's been charging it up. So 13.4. And got a little disconnect. Once I get my wind turbine. Should charge up this one battery. This is just a battery that I'm just using for now. It's just a deep cycle. It's not a real true uh, solar deep cycle battery that I that I gotta get. I had some guys commenting, telling me about some batteries. So I'm gonna take a look at them. This one here is a, is a nice little battery. I use this in my goat barn. That's only 35 amp hour. It's from Pow Power Sonic. That battery's pretty good, but. Here's my inverter, got a little watt meter, right now I'm running in a few things, charging some batteries, get the radios running, I'm going to be hooking the lights up in here and everything. When I get around to it, but once I want to get this thing going, this is also another thing I got from Missouri, wind and solar, a little uh, wind turbine switch, you can break it, free spin, put it on, so if I'm messing with it. I can turn it, break it, and all that. So, got a couple 250 amp fuses on my inverter. Yeah, I'm learning as I go along. I ain't no pro at this. <laughs> I just started out with a solar panel and I started adding pieces on, pieces on. So, 
I'm reading and watching videos as I go, I go along. I'm, I'm learning on the fly, so. Here's my cord that's coming in from the wind turbine. That's that 12-2 uh, uh, with the ground right here that I found. So now we're going to switch it over when I uh, get the rectifier. So maybe when I get the rectifier hooked up, we'll see what it's going to do. Maybe I'll do another video on it. And, and after that, i got to get a couple of good batteries. Maybe I'm going to get another solar panel for the top. The wind turbine is 400 watts. I got 100 watt up on the roof with the solar. Probably get a couple more 100 watts in solar. And I think I should probably be pretty good just to do this garage. So we'll see how it goes. All right, YouTube. Take it easy.